hi guys welcome to today's commentary for the dollar and foreign currency today we're going to look at the institutional order flow of the dollar index on the higher time frame remember always we try to look at what the higher time frame is doing before we start to look at the lower time frames and this is the weekly time frame for the dollar so we can go a bit higher and look at the monthly time frame so you can see clearly that on the monthly time frame we've been saying this for quite some time that the dollar is bearish because the dollar reacted off a bearish mitigation block right here and this guy has been uh, showing signs that they want to go lower especially because currently we see the dollar reacted of a bearish order block right here after trading into the sell side imbalance and the buy side inefficiency right at the left here the dollar created a bearish expansion um, that formed the bearish order block so traded into that bearish order block and we can see clearly that it's clearing the lows of the previous monthly candles technically it's saying that the dollar is bearish where is the drawn liquidity on the monthly time frame the drawn liquidity will be the low here let me show you that low and this low right there sell side liquidity pool residing below that old low and also below that is a fair value gap so which i would uh, technically classify as the drawn liquidity and also i'm seeing a model that may trade from mitigation to mitigation block we are reacting of a bearing mitigation there's another bullish mitigation residing right below that so this can be the draw liquidity in the long term then on the weekly you would see clearly that price has been forming bearish expansions and bullish retracement so we see price has formed lower low lower high you see that now we have a new lower low price took out sell side liquidity pool this is what I see on the weekly. It's been about five weeks of bearish price action and we have a sell side imbalance right here that price action may want to rebalance. And I can see also that there is an IOF with the institutional order flow entry drill that fair value gap with an old week in between them. All right. So I would prefer to see this guy, especially because we just took out an external range liquidity. We like to see this guy reprise into internal range. And if you do your premium and discount um, analysis, you'd see that this is the high to the low price should trade above 50%. So the level at which that um, IOFED is, is at the premium and at the same time around the mitigation block. This is also a mitigation block price from the low lower high if that is failure swing then shift on market structure at the same time there's a bearish order block right there so this is the level we are anticipating to see the dollar trade back into before it continues this sell expansion all right before we continue the sell expansion on the daily time frame you can see that price action because on the daily we we'll simply be looking at market structure price should form uh, lower low lower high in a bearish market structure so we see that clearly price has been forming that lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high now we still have another lower low so we anticipate to see price action reprise and trade into that premium level so if you look at this week's candle open this is the new weekly candle open let's look at um the opening price is 100.678 so 100.678 let me customize that to 100.678 let's see 100.678 that's the opening price we would like to buy below the opening price you see that so price open traded lower we like to buy below that into that level so on the one hour time frame what will i be looking for i'll be looking for shift of market structure on the one hour price had taken out low here i would like to see a clear shift of market structure bullish of course as price returns into the internal range right here that bullish other block i would like to buy then we go into the premium levels that we have outlined on the daily time frame.
okay guys so this is what i'm looking at on the dollar index but most preferably we like to see the daily time frame create a swing low swing low is a three candle price action with the middle candle forming the lowest low that's a reversal pattern that tells us that we're ready to start retracing or reversing into the inside range that will be my most preferred um price pattern especially on the daily time frame remember if the higher time frame is not ready and if the dollar is not ready nothing is technically ready on all assets on all assets so let's look at this guy this is euro usd euro usd from a weekly perspective you see, we see price action took out by sell liquidity pool all right and is heading for another liquidity pool right above that okay but because an external range liquidity has been taken out here, we may well want to see an internal range repricing. So we, we, we would like to see price reprice into the mitigation, the bullish mitigation there, which is in confluence with the bullish other block around this level. I'd like to see that happened right here. Then on the daily, you can see price has been forming higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. I'd like to see this guy also reprice into the inside range. Then on the one hour, on the one hour as well, we'd like to see price action create. shift of market structure there's nothing at the moment so i'd like to see price action create something significant before we can clearly see that we're ready price to cut a high but because we do not have that daily time frame swing high so this is not a high probability sell just the same way the dollar is also not a high probability buy because the daily time frame has not created that swing low and here on the euro usd hasn't created the swing high so we would patiently wait until we see these things we're not going to chase price action we would wait until we see these things print out on the charts okay guys this is my analysis for the dollar and foreign currency going into the week remember it's the month of august you must reduce your risks on currency assets because most assets will most likely consolidate you look at the candles on the euro usd they are not very large it's a sign that there's no momentum throughout the month of august the candles have been very 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 small candles it's a sign that there is no no volume in the month of august okay don't forget to like my videos and as well don't forget to follow this youtube handle those of you looking to come into our mentorship program, myself and Solomon King have put up a mentorship program, the Elite Traders Program. Just search Elite Traders Program. There's going to be a link on the description of the video and you can easily have access to our organized trading program. All right. A lot of people have, have, have a lot of positive testimonials since, you know, people started to come into the community. We've had crazy crazy results and crazy testimonials so if you are looking to take the forex program just come and join the elite traders program here it's just a six hours video all in all is six hours 52 minutes but it's amazing amazing content then if you are looking to trade the, it's the nasdaq and us 30 come here it's just two hours 39 minutes all the videos it's amazing content if you are trading synthetic indices, also you need the bread and butter strategy. It's just fifty dollars, and you find it good. If you are buying this course from Nigeria, just click the button to buy the course in Naira, and it's going to be very seamless and very, very, very easy. Those of you looking for one-on-one -on -one mentorship, you can reach me through the link on the description of the video for one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Maybe you want me to treat some of the things you have. Um, confusion over you can reach out to me let's make arrangements for that then if you are also looking to create passive income passive income by passive income i mean 
you're looking to create passive income we have a system that does about 20 to 30 dollar average on a daily basis using our synthetic indices trading robots and i think it's affordable as well you can reach out and get the robot for yourself so that you can create passive income while you're trading or learning how to trade until next time we should good luck good trading stay safe